We should use the weapons as a tool for education, to educate their generation and the next generation about the endangerment of native Hawaiian species. For Manny Matos, a retired Honolulu police officer and plumbing inspector who is also a Hawaiian weapons enthusiast, art is another way to preserve the culture. Well, when I was a policeman about maybe 30 years ago, a fellow policeman who was a great artist, he introduced me into making Hawaiian war weapons. One day I went over to his house and we made a weapon. I liked it and uh, from then on I did a lot of research, learned more about the the weapons and what they were used for in, in our Native Hawaiian society. Manny Matos continues to handcraft and gather weapons that represents the soul of old Hawaiian combat. The weapons were, they're, they're, uh, they're replicas of pieces that exist in museum. They're not all accurate in their size and dimension. Each of them has a different story because they're made out of a different type of wood. But what really astonished me is the Native Hawaiians were a Stone Age culture. They, they didn't have any metals, the copper, iron, anything like that. After a period of time, Manny Matos decided to share his work with the public. He was astounded by the reception he received. It has been a part-time job for me for maybe 15 years, and I would sell them at, at craft shows, Hilo Farmer's Market, hotels have invited me, my, me and my wife. So I've been selling those parts, you know, part-time. As Manny Matos made his prized creations, he found out about the endangerment of the woods from the dryland forests. So, he devised a plan to save the Hawaiian dryland from extinction. About maybe 10, 12 years ago, I got the idea using the weapons as a tool to teach about the dryland forest, Native Hawaiian dryland forest, which is highly endangered. I created a nonprofit foundation. It's called Preservation of the Dryland Forest. I use the nonprofit donations as a means to finance some of the things that I have to do, going to different schools, going to other islands, in that aspect. I found through all these years of talking to, to young kids, high school kids, even adults, their lack of knowledge of the basic items that were used by their ancestors because they're being so neglected, put it that way. Manny Matos strives to revitalize and preserve the spirit of the Native Hawaiians in each of his creations. It is also his hope that everyone he teaches will come to a fuller understanding of Hawaiian history. This is Michael Delicata from St. Francis School, Rehikino.